responded? Oh, yes. And look, you know, um, you know, when someone passes away, it's an emotional time for everybody. And, you know, just a, a sort of reinforces the fact that everyone deals with grief and, and loss in, the, in their own way. And, you know, I, I presume you're talking about the, the player group. You know, there's yeah. got 47 of them and all got different personalities and people are going to deal with it differently. How's it been for you though, Mark, sort of being a new person to the footy club, seeing the whole sort of Melbourne family come together over the last week? Yeah, I did. Um, you know, obviously, I, I have seen that along with everyone else. But you know, the passing of of Jim, you know, it's what's become evident. If it wasn't already over the last seven days, is you know, we're not talking about you know your average ex footballer. You know, he you know, he touched the lives of many people. Uh, you know, and the work that he's done through the Reach Foundation has been highlighted. And you know, and just to to listen to you know those people in particular, and, and to see. Uh, the sort of the outpouring of emotion, you know, was um, was amazing, and, and he's touched a lot of people. In terms, and now going ahead to the game on the weekend, do you, do you harness that emotion? Do you talk about it? Do you let players deal with it differently? How do you sort of treat that leading up to Saturday now? Yeah, probably a little bit of uh, of all those things. Um, you know, we have professionals employed at the club that you know are, are dealing you know with the issue of grief, and as I said before, everyone will deal with it differently, and uh, and, and that's. That's the way of the world. Um, it, it'll be a, a tough time for the club, but being a player and a coach at the moment, you know, we have a, a clearly defined role at the footy club, and for the players, that's to, you know, perform, and and that could well be, you know, a really good outlet for them. You know, there are people across the road in their admin section that have worked some of them on a daily basis with Jim for years. You know, they don't have that outlet, and that's you know probably going to be difficult for, for those guys to deal with, but it may just be something that the players need to get out and, and have an outlet. What shape do you think the team's been going into round one in your first game as coach? Uh, yeah, pretty good, Pete, I reckon. Yeah, pretty good. Where, you know, everything aside, the, the excitement and the, the nervousness and, you know, the anxiety of round one, all those adjectives, they're all there. Everyone's sort of up and about from a footy point of view. I don't know. You're not supposed to. I'm, my old mentor wouldn't like that comment, I suppose. But yeah, we're ready to we're ready to play a game of footy. It's been a sort of a tumultuous month in the sense that you know, prior to Jim, there was some issues. Is it are you worried at all, or concerned that sort of the, the final months or weeks of your preparation have been derailed a little bit? Mate, I'm worried about everything. I think that's <laughs> I've heard that being the senior coach, you, you get worried about every possible thing from right from making sure the masseurs are there and and all that type of stuff. Oh. Look, I, look, I don't know. I've asked, been asked that question a few times. You know, mm. did, you know, did you want to start? Did you want to start your career with? You know, we had Cole Sylvie and then Liam Jar, and oh, look, I don't know. I suppose I had to deal with it at some stage and mm. dealt with them first up. Um, we'll be okay. We'll be alright. Is James Magno available for selection? Prospects have been playing. Uh, yep, we upgraded Jimmy to the primary list, and that's on the back of really solid contribution to pre-season and also throughout his NAB Cup. Um, that component of pre-season. So, yeah, he, he'll certainly be... Oh, he's available. He'll certainly be in and around the mark. We've got our main training session to follow this press conference and then we'll have our final match committee. But, yeah, when it's a big decision to promote a rookie uh, onto the primary list and when you do that, you know, that you're probably thinking very strongly that he might play, but uh, we'll see how he goes at training and then I'll see... What my uh, worry meter's like in the in <laughs> in match committee. You know, history says that it takes a bit of time for a new coach to sort of bed down what they want to do. As much as you'd like to see them flying first round, it, it often takes. I, I go back to Ross Lyon in his first season at St Kilda. Yeah. I think it took twelve weeks or so yeah. before they understood what he wanted. Do you feel that it might take a little bit of time? That there's going to be just a little bit of patience required. Oh, absolutely. And it's not only history that tells you that. All the research about you know education and sports performance. There's a whole heap of it out there now, and we can all read if we want to. You know, uh, different studies and a lot of different books have been written on the subject. And it, it takes lots of hours of practice. Now that doesn't always have to be practice on the ground. You know, it could be you know just seeing it visually. The boys have seen some videos this morning. Yeah, it, it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. And there's always, you know, we've had a discussion regularly over which way do we go? Do we go whole team and say we want to play this way? 
or as a coaching group do we come in and say here are the individual standards that if you want to remain at the Melbourne Footy Club you've got to do this do you do that way first yeah. so you know we've spent a we've spent a lot of time over summer just articulating to the players the individual standards that we want from the to be it for, from a footballer at our footy club. So there's been a lot of that. Yeah. And now we're starting to bring in, um, this is what it looks like from a whole team perspective. And that takes time. And, and again, you know, a lot of the research outside of our industry, if you look at you know, businesses and things like that, that, that's the preferred, well not the preferred, that's the suggested method to do things. So we've tried to, we've tried to follow that and tried to resist the temptation of, of throwing all these bits mm. of information and, you know, and all stoppage structure. We've started with the individual. And that's the way. So it's going to take time. And I think, you know, everybody realises that. Well, I hope they do. Yeah. Jack wants to do enough in the VFL on the weekend to play seniors this weekend. Uh, he'll be, uh, I can't give you a straight answer. In, I can't give you a, a definitive answer. I'll give you a straight one. Um, uh, I thought he played, played okay in the VFL. So he's certainly given himself a, a, chance, to, um, a, a chance to be selected. Yeah. Jack Grimes is fine. Yeah, Grimes is fine. He played the first three quarters out at Casey the other evening and he was withdrawn from the game at three quarter time. His shoulder's fine. So uh, as long as he gets through our main training session and Troy Davis doesn't run into him again, he'll play. <laughs> you spoken much to Mitch Clark about, um, about the game. Obviously, it was always going to be a big occasion for him considering that it's his first for the club, but obviously wearing that, that big number 11 on his back. Uh, he's got a bit on Mitch, hasn't he? Uh, no, not really. I, I, no, I haven't. Uh, the reason being that there's a whole heap of other people that have already had uh, that conversation with Mitch. Uh, he spoke with uh, Jim himself, and, and I know that he's spoken to Sam and, and what that means. And, you know, Mitch again will deal with that in, um, in his own manner. But, uh, you know, the biggest concern, well, not the biggest concern, Mick's, uh, Mitch's biggest objective is to go out and, and play his role really well. Mark, I know that the footy media would make a big deal of it if Jack didn't play, because we gather from your response then that it's touch and go as to whether he will play, is that a fair summation? Uh, no. Uh, the fair summation is that I thought he played pretty well in the VFL, and we've got match committee after training, and he has done enough to be in the discussion to play. So what are the factors that will push it one way or the other? Yeah, well, there's probably a whole heap of them. Um, Oh, I just need to be convinced in my own mind that that's the right way to go. So uh, I, I don't know how he does that between now and match committee. That's for me to sit around and walk around and, and think about while they're training. Mark, you've um, probably lost the occasion test to call a lot count over the net cup. Have you identified that as an issue and what can you do to address it? I haven't, really, haven't identified that as a, a negative issue. Uh, we're focused very much on the fact that our contested possession has been really good. And for the majority, the boys are, are preparing really well. And for the majority, they're attempting to play the game style that what that what we're after. Um, you know, they're spread away from a stoppage. You know, that can always improve. And all coaches will bang on that line, I suppose, this week. Listen, boys, when they contested possession and get out. And uh, so I'll give that the instruction as well. You might have answered it before, but six months ago, when you when you took the job on or whatever it was, did you sort of see yourself being in this position, this this ready and and, and this poised to be? coaching your first game or have things turned out a lot differently in, in your own mind? Uh, I was fairly open to anything that could have happened and thank goodness for that because uh, there's a lot that has that has happened. Uh, look, I'm not the players, I just want to play. Uh, well, I can't play, I just want to coach, see them play, see how we go and, and get into the business of uh, playing, reviewing and and going again. Um, yeah, I'm excited. i coach my first game, it'd be great. Where's, um, just quickly, just an update on LJ. Where's he at in terms of his yeah. injury? Uh, yeah, rehab group, I think, uh, uh, you know, a month away, roughly. Oh.